Alright, hey guys. So far so good. I know I'm not messing with my bangs today, right? Instead I'm messing with this. Um, anywho. Today we are going to do this works thing right. Okay, this is like the fifth attempt I've made at showing you how the works tools work. So, we're going to start off with the saw. Slash, I believe you can put buffing pads on this. All I've used it for is a saw. So we're gonna take the universal plug, right? And we're gonna plug it in this way. Okay, I'm gonna set you down, way down, down. This is the universe. This is the battery source. This is the power source box right here. Okay. Now this box is charged by this. So that is a bundle. That is a set. Okay. We push the button. Saw so goes on. Okay. This is craft wood. Balsa. I don't think it's balsa wood. Maybe it is. But I have. You can see where I've already cut it before. But I want you guys to see me cutting it. Okay, so we're going to hold on to it. Takes a very light touch. hot but it took a chunk out of that it's a great tool for ladies anyone with carpal tunnel um, an elderly person my mother is 80 and going on 81 and she can deal with this right so that is the saw I will read up on it but I don't think it, it I think it buffs if you put buffer pads but there's a whole process to it so I've only ever used it as a saw so, we unplug this, like this, I'm going to set that one over here, we're going to go to this one, this one is a, a, is a uh, glass engraver or glass etcher slash um, drill, okay, so once again, this gets plugged into here. I have a piece of glass over here, as soon as I figure out what the heck I'm doing, right? Okay, again, the power source. Okay, I have a piece of glass here. We all know what this is, right? And I'm gonna try for you guys to see that it will engrave. I'm just gonna do my initials. shade this. Okay, let's do, let's do my initials. Can you see that? So it'll shade. And if you're going to use this for this, you're going to want to get yourself a set of tips. Power source off. Okay, so there's my initials. Can you guys see that? Okay, my initials, and I did some shading, and it's etched in there. Okay. Then you would take one of your buffer pieces, and you could buff that out, right? And I have a set of different. It comes with several different tips. There's that one. It also comes with a brush to get down into grooves if you need to brush something out. It comes with these little sanding bits here. 
which you can also use on that to sand something down. Say if I wanted to sand um, this wood, okay? It comes with plenty of those and all the different um, sized sanding wheels, right? Comes with um, a fine point etcher. Here's the little box that it came with. So you got your wood burning tips, your sanders, your etchers, um, buffing wheels, cutting wheels for the saw, bunch of all of that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to push this button in and undo this, pull this tip out, and find my drill, right? with a few different drill bits. If I can get my big old fingers in there, right? Okay, so you just push the button in. Let go. Turn it. Till it clicks, that's in. Okay. Now we're gonna make a pole. I am making sure that you guys are still on the power source. And this box has different speeds, okay? I've got it at full. That's a hole that I previously did, but I want you guys to see me doing it. It doesn't take a lot. You guys can't work it like a, you know, a $200 Makita or Milwaukee. Little bit at a time. So it goes through, right? Turn off the power source. So now you have the same tool is an engraver and also a drill bit. There's the hole I just did right there. All right. So then, because it's universal, you just take this off. I'll set that tool aside, and we're going to go with the shrinker. Okay, the heat gun part of it. Same thing. Just plug it in. Because I am blind. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, here it is. There we go. Comes with a little stand, right? I'm going to take this piece. Now, this is um, mylar that I use on my bags, on my food stuff, right? Um, turn on the power source. We're going to heat shrink. You guys seen that? We're going to heat shrink this together on each side. So it's a very, it's really super hot. You can turn it down or you can turn it up. But I just wanted you to see, go from side to side. power source. Okay. You can see I sealed it together. Right? So it will seal your your mylar bags. And there it is all stuck together, right? So I don't use this a whole lot. I have seen some really very cool things you can do with those. I just have not, especially if you're, I guess, into scrapbooking and stuff. I think they use them quite a bit. Uh, but anyways, yes, you can get this tool. Universal, this just comes off. We set that one aside. Now, let's go with the wood burner. Because I have a feeling that the, uh, the, um, let's turn it on. You need to get it hot. It turns on right here. Okay, you hold it in, and there it is. It's going to get up to 680 degrees really fast. This is also a soldering iron. 
I do not have any soldering wow wire but the book shows you how to do soldering so you can do soldering so for your jewelry makers out there it will wood burn and solder so if you do little wood burn pieces of for earrings or necklaces or whatever you use the same tool to solder it together okay so let's wood burn let's see if it's hot yet I think you guys have been watching me um, I think you guys have been watching me use the pyrography one my set I did the owl I'm doing I'm done with the wolves now um, I really really like pyrography better than I like this but there are those who would probably prefer this let's see here Okay, it's start to get hot. Takes a little bit for it to get hot. But that doesn't. The pyrography, man, count to ten, it's hot, right? I'm making sure you guys are still on. Yes, you are. Okay. Because we're at eleven minutes, so we're pushing that limit. So anyways. It comes with several different tips. You guys seeing that? If I go this way. And this comes, um, this tip right here is just mostly for your lines, right? But you can probably shade if you want to. I did the whole owl in this one, and I did um, uh, uh, Thumper Bumper, the, the rabbit, my jackrabbit I did with this as well. So there's your wood burning. Then you just turn it off, hold it till it goes off, get your power source, take this off, set this somewhere safe while it's hot, right? I happen to have a thing over here from my pyrography got like a little wet cloth in there so now um, like I said it comes with several different bits for the wood burning right different skinnies and all kinds of things it comes with the tips for the soldering part too I just have never soldered I'm not a jewelry maker I, I <coughs> something I really never got into these are the tips you buy extra if you're going to um, these are ceramic grinders for your um, etching I bought these separate. This is to clean out your air gun, your air, your airbrush gun. Okay, that comes with the airbrush. Now here is the airbrush. Let me feel this thing for a minute. Okay, I'm gonna shut you guys off for one second. We're gonna keep going on. I'm gonna put some paint in this, and I'll be right back. I'm back. Okay, I think I'm prepped and ready to go. We have our airbrush right these are the paints that I bought in a set of 12 and these are all the colors that I got I don't know if you guys can see them I got quite a few I'm gonna go ahead and test this orange orange one okay it's called flesh so it's a fleshy orange it says to shake it very well this is pre-mixed now you can go online and buy airbrush paint I don't I think you have to mix it with water these paints, you don't. You just use it right out of the jar, okay? So, this is our first time, guys. So, we're going to take this barrel off. I'm going to take the barrel off the top. Undo this. And maybe I want to put the barrel on here. I think I want to put the barrel on here. Okay. So, I have only used this once. It's been two years. I have not had the proper paint, so I haven't done it. Now, according to the works video, you only need to put half in, okay? Well, first thing we're going to do, I think, is put this in so we're not jerking it around, right? We want to attach our power source like that, okay? Power source is right here, okay? We're going to, it says about half full, so let's do that because we just want to test it right we do not 
I'm not painting a portrait today. We're just testing it. Is when I'm done, I have to take that cute little kit that they sent and go clean it out really good. So you put your lid back on. And I just learned, I just learned for you cake people out there and candies and cookies, they sell a food safe sprayer now. You can use this and buy yourself just the food safe sprayer for um, airbrushing your, your goodies, right? Okay, holding it accurately. I'm going to turn this on. Okay. Let's hold this up. Let's stand back a little bit. I did put a paper down. There we go. You guys see that? It is a very light... It is a very light color. This is your power, your air, you know, how much air you want on there. I am new at this. I am a complete and utter amateur. I am in no way an instructor, and I'm in no way um, going to tell you how to do this. I'm just showing you how the tool works, because I am new myself. So, there we go. Right? Very simple to use. The only thing I have a problem with, now let's see. Let's turn this off. And let's see how much paint we've used. There's still quite a bit of paint in there. Can you guys see down inside there? There's still some in there. So, <clears throat> kind of gives you an idea. I believe that this was intended for small projects like this. Like, say, if I were going to, uh, I don't know, do a portrait of a human being, which I would never go there because that would not work out well, right? So... And then this little thing back here, I don't even know, guys. Like I said, I am new. I have. That's righty tidy. Okay, let's tighten that up. Um, this does its own thing down here. I think this is. You guys, comment, you airbrushers out there. And I do believe you want to. Hang on. Why is it? Oh, I see what that does. Okay. There we go. So you do want to open that up a little bit. Okay, so this is giving me a super light cover. And then I did something down here too. <laughs> I'm out of paint. But see, my only grief, yep, my only grief is that they only sell the one, you get the one barrel with it, not several. So you don't have, you, now if I want to do a different color, I have to go clean all this out, right? So I have been in contact with Works, it was a, it's been about a year. I'm going to find out on their website if they plan on selling just these. Now that they sell the food safe sprayer for your cakes and cookies and whatever, I want to see if they sell these or if I have to buy. I don't want seven or eight of these, right? I just want the barrels. And I don't know if these are universal barrels. So I'm going to take this with me. I'm going into town next week, into the city. I'm going to take this with me. <sighs> Probably not Michael's or Joanne's. I'm thinking maybe Harbor Freight because they do sell these and see if there's a way to buy it and if they universally fit because they claim that their tools are all universal fit so you could use universal size like the <clears throat> you could use a different brand of wood burners, you could use a different brand of soldering pieces you could use um, different brands of um, drill bits on their on that rotary tool, right? So they claim to be universal, so I'm wondering if this part here is universal, right? So anyways, that is the air gun. It's that simple. You pour your paint in, if you buy it pre-mixed, and no, I do not make any money off this. <laughs> Let me bring you up here. I do not make any money. I do not get free projects. I do not get any kind of endorsements. I'm not endorsing works. I'm just showing you what um, it does for me. 
So works, W-O-R-X, and it's called their Maker X line. And if, once you get this power base, this power base, and the charger, right, it will work on all of their tools, all of their Worker X tools. You only need this one piece. It's a 20 volt, okay? It's super cool. And when you're ready, you just push the button down, slide this out like this, put this on the charger, and plug it in and charge it. When the light turns green, it means you can go, right? So then you just come back, click it on, and now it is very portable. You take this over to mom's house, neighbor's house, RV, you've got a generator on your RV, and you've got a 12 volt charger. There you go, right? You take it with you anywhere. It's nice and portable. So anyway, guys, that's it for that. I just have been trying forever to get that video out to where I can show you especially that airbrush and I really do like it I believe it did a pretty decent job considering I don't know what the heck I'm doing right and um, I'm glad I bought these paints because now I can test it on canvas I'll test oh and and also they on the worker site work works tools on on YouTube they also show you how to use it on glass right so there you go so anyways, guys, thanks so much for coming along on this works adventure. I hope you try it. I hope you're in a position to be able to buy the whole dang bundle, right? Get all of it and sit and mess with it. And you might even come up with a craft that you totally enjoy. Or it might add to the pleasure of the craft you already do. If you're a jewelry maker, the soldering slash wood burner would be awesome. If you're into cakes and stuff, this little guy here, they sell the food safe version. Um, if you're into glass etching and stuff like that, um, the whole set would be awesome for you. So they also have um, the, the cutting tool. So that is a grinder slash uh, cutting um, cutoff tool. You guys will find uses for that too. Etch work, I mean, you name it, soldering. It's all there, right? And uh, check it out. They always have deals. They always have coupons. Um, I don't have any to offer you because it's kind of a personal thing. Once you sign up on their site, you'll get emails for that. So anyways, thanks guys and take care of yourselves. Be good to each other out there. Don't forget to pray. Always craft. Yes, it's good for you. Prep, good for your whole family, right? And rant because that just works, right? So I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Thank you and I hope that you're subscribing, sharing, and following me and passing my name along for others out there who might want to be just as crazy as me. Talk to you later. Bye.